people don't they don't even understand what really heart pine is all about uh, it's just a it's a different type of wood I mean you can go to the lumber store and buy you a piece of wood and, and go on about your business build your little house you know but it's nothing compared to this heart pine wood these trees date back 300 three to 400 years the weather that it will withstand is just it's it's a miracle in itself, you know, because if you cut into the, one of these uh, old beans right here, the smell of it just is, is just a beautiful smell. It's something that you'd want an aroma like that in your house at all times. Uh, you can cut a regular old yellow wood two before now, and you won't smell that. It's just a rich smell. They used to make turpentine out of this uh, resin too in this wood. I can remember my daddy telling me stories, and that this was in the early 50s that he used to haul turpentine out of the south part of Worth County with these uh, old uh, heart pine trees. They don't exist too many more. They're few and far between. Uh, about the only place you could find some trees still growing, it would probably be on an old plantation or something like that that's been in the family for 200 years or better, and they have preserved the trees. But can you imagine them guys with both hands on that sucker? And this is all day long. They were building houses. You know, they were building tobacco barns. You name it. They were building it by hand. And now we got all this modern technology. Right here, how they carved this out. So that they could, uh, this was probably a floor joist at one time, is what it was. And they took an old hand-hewn saw and they, they worked this sucker till they got that grooved out. These were real men doing this type of work and it, it is so interesting just to see the, the workmanship that they put into this. And, and you can imagine their hands just cramping and we got an old saw to cut it in just seconds. I can't imagine even myself today how to do this kind of work all day, every day, seven days a week. But the grain of the wood itself is so, it's so much different than the trees that we uh, produce today and cut for lumber and stuff like that. Uh, well, you don't hardly see it no more unless you tear down an old house or tobacco barn or, or cotton mill. But it's so popular. Uh, your chances of being able to do that is slim to none. Uh, you might, if you got plenty of money, you could probably uh, buy one of those buildings. You can't even hardly drive a nail in this kind of wood. You, a lot of times you had to drill holes, little pilot holes in it, just to set your nail. This has been, this is probably 150 to 200 years old beam right here. It's still solid. I could buy a six by six post uh, non treated and let, laid out in the weather in a year's time it would be almost rotted I mean it would be but this this tree here 150 to 200 years old if you look right here on this end right here where we cut it with this chainsaw it is solid all the way through I mean look at that right there this is it's, it's magic I mean if you don't believe in God, you might want to come out here and look at these uh, beams right here.